puppy's hot. That shit's insane, dude. Don't 
gonna be where you need them. Okay, this mold here. I lost something there. Okay, now mold. Okay, we'll open this one up first. Faster, it's still hot. <laughs> Don't worry, it's just a fly, probably. Oh. You know what? Plan B. It broke that one all up. Like too much weight, too much heat. <laughs> Steam engine body. Yeah. Yeah, the pattern broke when I was trying to mold it and uh, a friend of mine was talking asking why not just take and cast in two different parts. Cast a separate bottom on it. I'll clean it up. There's a lot of flashing because of the mold. But you do what you have to to get it cast. Because this mold defied being molded. This part did. Oh shit! Yeah, this thing's heavy. Oh, incoming. Oh. Yeah, I'll get the other mold here. Okay. amount of flashing but I think I clean it up easily. Need just a little bit more room here. Yeah. Much better than the last one was. Yeah. I think it looks good. Yeah, I had a helper here today. Uh, I had my father helping me pour this thing, but I had another friend that came out. That's who I was talking to when undoing the molding and stuff, or knocking out the molds. He came out just to hang out and 
see this done. He's never seen anybody do this before, so that's who I was talking to. Okay, that's a special thanks to my dad and Andrew. Okay, see ya. Okay, Let's see this done again. Um, yeah, I wanted to have the shrink bob on the bottom of this one so that I can machine it off. It'll create a, or not shrink bob, just a big blob there because I'll machine it down and create a spot for the steam inlet plug to come in. Or I'll just, just machine it off and say screw it all. Just put it on that way. This has a lot of flashing around it because I, I kind of had to get creative with the mold. Uh, you're probably wondering what happened to the rest of it. Well, bad news. I was trying to mold up that stupid thing and it I dropped the flask full of sand in the mold on this thing or on the pattern which turned it into this yeah it destroyed it and a good friend of mine asked me a while back why didn't I cast it in two pieces it'd be a lot easier so I just took some quarter inch bolts and just hot glued them to the bottom to prop it up a quarter inch so it would have 5 eighths thickness because that's 3 eighths of an inch thick plywood on the bottom there and it would make it flat and I just dug around it to a little bit to do that up which is why all that flashing is there but I can work with that just gotta go at it with the grinder quite a lot and cut all the flashing off but the whole bottom is 5 eighths inch thick it is shrunk here for some reason it shrunk like a bottleneck this way and it also shrunk just a little tiny bit right here but I'm going to machine that down and put a steel platform on it for the and create grooves in it for Babbitt. That's the only shrinkage and defects I see besides all the... I had a little bit of sand wash here that I knew about I just couldn't get this to mold. It, this That pattern just defied being molded this time. Everything I tried failed on me so yeah so I'll get these trimmed up and I'll try to piece the base back together a little bit and make a separate bottom and I'll put it together that way just both two halves together uh, the crucible seemed to hold up really well but I think I have a leak right um, right there so I'll grind that down and um, yeah I'll just grind it down and just go at it with the welder once more just to fill it in because I got a puddle of it in my furnace which I'll have to get a pry bar and get it out I got I had this thing running which worked a thousand times better than that little thing but See, I turned the manifold instead of it being like this I turned it this way because I didn't have enough room for this one to go in there wasn't enough room here but if I did it on top it worked great so okay yeah this is enough to get the thing started I still gotta make the flywheel and I gotta take and make the base for the thing this will allow me to get started on it this here just has some washout but I could just hit that with the grinder or whatever and it'll smooth that out it's raised up above where it needs to be so and it's not much to take off either so and it'll work 
Yeah, I'll take and get all the flashing off here, which shouldn't be too hard to do. Mm-hmm. Okay.